for the invocation this afternoon, we are pleased to have a member of San Francisco's Human Rights Commission, Rabbi Martin Weiner of the congregation Sheriff Israel, Rabbi Weiner. Amen. O oh Lord, creative spirit of the universe, you are the source of life and the beauty of nature. Avina Sheba Shemayim, our Father in heaven, at this important moment when men and women of goodwill from all over America meet to make vital decisions for the future of our country. Avinu Sheba Shemayim, Heavenly Father, who gives strength unto governments and understanding unto mortals, bestow thy blessings, we pray thee, upon thy beloved servant, Michael S. Dukakis, on this memorable moment in his life, in the life of the Democratic Party. You have been the inspiration of the great and good among all the families of the earth. Your love and guidance reach out to all the world. Avinu Shabbat Shemayim Borei Olobim Our Father in Heaven, Creator of the Universe, bless this assemblage of men and women, guide its chosen leaders, Inspire them who would lead us in these last years of the 20th century that they may uphold to the world the eternal teachings of thy prophets. Our Father in heaven, this is the day the Lord made. Let us celebrate and rejoice in it. Borei Olam, creator of the universe. As we welcome to our community these delegates from across our great nation, so do we invoke your presence among them. Bless all who are gathered here. Avinu Sheba Shomayim, our Father in heaven, bless these dedicated people, this noble democratic party. Our party has always stood for ideas, and those who lead us have always recognized that our strength lies in true ideas burning unquenchably in our hearts. May God bless our efforts and may his ideas inspire us. And God formed a human being from the dust of the earth and breathed into him the breath of life. One human being whose life is precious one human being who is imbued with infinite potential. One human being who is the symbolic ancestor of us all. Who attained this standard of tikkun olam, perfecting the world. Loving God, we pray for your servant Joseph Lieberman with gratitude for his goodness, integrity, and the breakthrough which he represents. Baruchim Habaim. Blessed are you who have come. This is an auspicious year for the American Jewish community. In September, we will begin the celebration of our 350th year in America. The song, God Bless America, was introduced to this country 70 years ago. And in those seven decades, Lord, you have indeed blessed us in so very many ways. We are here in this hall this evening, safe and secure. Eternal God, you ennoble our lives by empowering us to do your work here on earth. We are grateful that our nation is founded on the highest principles 
of freedom and resourcefulness and creativity and ever-renewed strength. And we understand that those worthy ideals stand alongside the commitment to compassion. Ribono Shalalam, Almighty God, you commanded Moses many years ago, Ukratem Duror Ba'aret Lechol Yoshveha, proclaim liberty throughout the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. Today, this biblical verse is emblazoned on the Liberty Bell. Let us remember Scripture's clear, simple explanation of greatness. God is the great, the mighty, and the awesome, for God defends the cause of the widow and the orphan and loves the stranger residing among you. Avinu Shabashamayim, our Heavenly Father, we acknowledge your grace and your beneficence. We ask for your blessings upon this Republican National Convention and all those gathered here. God, you have been a refuge for us in every generation. As we conclude this convention from the safety of our homes, we pray for a national home where security, dignity, and prosperity abound for all its inhabitants. We pledge to vigilantly protect and tend the garden so as to imbibe its blessed fruits. May God continue to make America great, and may we continue to be His people, one nation, under God. And let us say, Amen.